Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial from the Reaper blog. I'm John. In this video, I'm going to show you how to align dual system audio using a clap sync. So I'm going to grab some files from the most recent Q&A session. These two files here. Put them on separate tracks. Here I've got my camera, and this file here is the boom mic and lav mic from the H4N. So I'm going to right click and go set this to mono right, because I know I'm only going to use the lav mic. And right at the beginning of this, I've got a clap sync. That's right around here. All right, so a clap sync is just simply stating the project and the take that you're working on, holding up your hands in front of the camera, and clapping fairly loudly. That gives you a spike in the camera's audio, a visual cue of the hands connecting. It also gives you a spike in your microphones. It's very easy to see where the clap is, uh, even when you're zoomed out. I think this is a cough, and that's another clap there. Anyway, if you're new to this, you may think that you could just tap to transient, find that clap, and then grab this and put it in the same spot. So let's try that and see how that goes. Let's see if these sound anywhere close to being aligned. Reaper blog Q&A number six, take one. If we look at where the transient is on this audio, it's off. So let's say right there is the clap. So that's off by a few frames. So if we're aligning all our audio, it may look OK here, but further down the line, it's going to be way off. So let's say right here is where we want the sync point to be. I'm going to put in a marker. Let's turn off this audio. Right click Source Properties, click Ignore Audio, and OK. It's going to turn off the audio on that video camera file. So on the audio recorder track, I can hit tab and go to that transient, that spike. I'm going to use a command to move the snap offset. This line here, this little gray line, is uh, now the point that moving this will snap to. It'll snap to the grid there rather than the start of the items. So that action we're looking for to do that is set snap offset to cursor. If you're doing this a lot, definitely recommend doing that. Even if you're not working on video, it's very helpful to be able to change the snap offset uh, without dragging it. All right, so I've got the clap synced up with the marker that I inserted. Let's see if this is in sync. Reaper blog Q&A number six, take one. That looks good. And that's all there is to it. Uh, this file should be in sync all the way through the project. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials. Thanks, guys. Bye.